So first of all, let's begin by truly understanding that December 25th is not actually Jesus Christ's birthday and that the Bible does not even mention December 25th at all. The elites are simply using December 25th as a day to spread the worship of Saturn throughout the whole wide world. I mean, it is the elites who run this world today anyway. So in fact, we have all unknowingly participated in Saturn worship for thousands and thousands of years. This Saturnian cult has never ever stopped and its rites are still present to this very day. Saturn is now dubbed as the Lord of the Rings, and it is the reason why we exchange rings at weddings or put halos on the heads of godly people, for example. So let's cut to the chase and hop on into it from the very, very beginning. Since ancient times, sages gazed at the stars and the planets while admiring their heavenly glow and attributing to them godly powers. This is exactly why we see so many connotations in ancient times linking planets to gods. For example, we have the planet Neptune linked to the god Poseidon, Venus linked to Aphrodite, Mars linked to Aries, Saturn linked to Cronus, and etc. Again and again, the ancients asserted a claim that could only appear maddening and preposterous to us in our modern times. But the ancient people declared that the distant planets and stars were the gods of their times. And today, we're specifically going to be talking about Saturn. So the ancients claimed that Saturn is so active in the cosmos that it was regarded by all of mankind as the supreme god and the creator who is also known as El. And astronomers estimated that the planet Saturn exerted the greatest influence upon all the movements of the celestial bodies in our solar system. And in the very beginning, Saturn ejected filaments in all directions and that the solar system became illuminated as if by hundreds and hundreds of suns. Hence, why the ancients also worshipped Saturn or 